Right, okay. Video today is why does the media hype this nonsense, i.e. in physics? And that's not the question I'm asking, it's I'm pointing to somebody else who's raising this question. So what's been reported in the Daily Telegraph is this article here. Uh, Big Bang could be uh, debunked by Large Hadron Collider and it's at this website here. And then I've got uh, this which I'll be referring to. So here we go. And this is the article which says why does the media hype this nonsense? And I'll be getting to that in a minute. Here we go. This is this is from the Telegraph, and the article is called "Big Bang Theory Could Be Dunked, Debunked by Large Hadron Collider." Scientists at CERN could provide could prove the controversial theory of rainbow gravity which suggests that the universe stretches back into time in infinitely with no Big Bang. So here we go. And the article is by Sarah Napton, science editor. Right. The, the detection of miniature black holes by the Large Hadron Collider could prove the existence of parallel universes and show that the Big Bang did not happen, scientists believe. So this is the media reporting this. It's all very impressive, isn't it? The parallel universe, uh, miniature black holes, finding out the Big Bang didn't happen, all very impressive. The particle accelerator, which will be started this week, has already found the Higgs boson, uh, the God particle, that's the nickname for it, which is thought to give mass to other particles. Now scientists at CERN in Switzerland believe they they might find miniature black holes which would reveal the existence of a parallel universe. Wow, amazing stuff. So, and if holes are found at certain energy, it could prove the controversial theory of rainbow gravity, which suggests that the universe stretches back into time infinitely with no singular point where it started and no Big Bang. The theory was postulated to reconcile Einstein's theory of general relativity, which deals with very large objects, and quantum mechanics, which looks at the tiniest building blocks of the universe. And that's one of the big problems in mainstream physics. How do you get combine Einstein's general theory of relativity with quantum mechanics? And so this rainbow gravity theory is so say trying to show how that's done. Of course, from my perspective. They're working on a lot of nonsense from Einstein. Anyway, carrying on. It takes its name from a suggestion that gravity's effects on the cosmos is due different, felt differently by varying wavelengths of light. So the idea of calling it rainbow gravity is because this idea of gravity's effect on the cosmos is felt differently by varying wavelengths of light. So that's the idea it's based on. Right. The huge amount of energy needed to make rainbow gravity would mean that the early universe was very different. One result would be that if you retrace time backwards, backward, the, the universe gets denser, approaching an infinite density, but never quite reaching it. So the effect of rainbow gravity is spore for objects like the Earth, but it's significant and measurable for black holes. It would be detected by a large hadron collider if it picks up or creates black holes within the accelerator. So if you're going to make black holes in the accelerator, well, in the science fiction things, if they show films, they show you about black holes and that, well, that's, that should be reason to panic, but they're you know, sort of like thinking it's a good idea. Oh, I don't know. We have calculated the energy at which we which we expect to detect these mini black holes in rainbow because gravity rain in gravity's rainbow. And that new theory. A new theory. 
gravity is very bad anyway. If we do detect mini black holes at this energy, then you will know that both gravity is rainbow and extra dimensions are correct. Dr. Mir, Faziel, Toad, Physics.org. So, all this stuff is for rainbow's gravity, rainbow, gravity is rainbow, extra dimensions, mini black holes, full of wonder here. Right. Some of the questions they asked, and did the big big bang create a parallel uni parallel universe where time goes backwards? Large Hadron Collider to launch again in dark matter quest. It's always big stories. The sound of science Higgs boson data turned turned to music at the CERN. Pictures reveal bigger and better Large Hadron Collider. The second run of the Large Hadron Collider will begin this week and, and the beams are expected to go full circle on Wednesday for the first time since the 27 km accelerator shut down in early two, 2013 for an upgrade. When it is fired up it will smash protons together at nearly double the energy that was used to find the Higgs boson. Rolf Hua, uh, Director General of CERN said the switch on would create a new era for physics which would also shed light on dark matter, dark energy and supersymmetry. A lot of stuff then, dark energy, dark matter and supersymmetry. Load of stuff. All justifying why they're doing the experiment. I want to see the first light in the dark universe. If that happens then nature is kind to me. Scientists believe they could find the first proof of an alternative reality is that exists outside out, uh, out, uh, our, it should be our own universe. So, we're going to find alternative realities. Big stuff. Here's the picture of the collider. There's a little man there, so so you how big it is. And this goes on goes on with more weird stuff. It is even possible that gravity from our own universe may leak into this parallel universe, scientists at the Large Hadron Collider say. Just as many parallel sheets of paper which are two dimensional objects, breadth and length, can exist in a third dimension height, parallel universities can also exist in higher dimensions, added Dr. Fazel. So, Parallel universes, higher dimensions, loads of stuff. We predict that gravity can leak into extra dimensions, and if it does, then miniature black holes can be produced at the Large Hadron Collider. Mm -hmm. Normally, when people think of the multiverse, they think of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, where every possibility is actualized. This cannot be tested, so it is philosophy, not science. This is not what we mean by parallel universities. What we mean is real universities in extra dimensions. Now that makes things very clear, doesn't it? No. As gravity can flow out of our universe into the extra dimensions, such a model can be tested by the detection of many black holes at the Large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider has undergone important upgrades and repairs over the past two years since the first shutdown. The particle collider boasts new magnets, superior cryogenics, higher voltage and higher energy beams that will allow the machine to run at nearly double the collision energy of the first one. So, it carries on, but is that, that does that impress you? That's the question. So we can, we can now look at what the some of the comments they've said about this article. Uh, so here we go to the, some of the comments. So he's making a comment, I don't think that's important too much. General. So I th I, I like this one. This is this one it says dreadful scientific reporting. Dreadful. That was the article. If we can make it bigger. And he's saying read that blog there. And at that blog he says, no, the Large Hadron Collider will not make contact with Parallel Universe. And it's a science blog by an academic who's actually worked at the Large Hadron Collider and on black holes. I don't know how she can work on black holes. 
probably just a theory bit of it. Right. Quote from the blog. Why does the media hype this nonsense? Exactly. Why? 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 Why would we be bombarded by so much nonsense? Einstein started it. I've lost me thing. Yep. Einstein started talking nonsense and the media picked it up and they're just going on with it. Three reasons I can think of. First, the next large hydron collider startup is near and they're looking for a hook to get the story across. So they're trying to get the story across of what they're doing. Black holes and parallel universes sound good regardless of whether this has anything to do with reality. So we're not even talking reality anymore. They're doing science reporting and it's not reality. Second, the paper shamelessly overstates the relevance of the investigation, makes claims that are manifestly wrong and fails to point out the miserable state that the framework they use is in. Shamelessly. Third, the authors willingly feed the hype in the press. So... That's that. So we go to that site which is referring to there. This is a blog. There we go. So is this lady up here? And we can look this lady. We can look at what it says about her. We've got it big enough. I make it bigger. There she is. And it says Sabrine. Hoffensfelder, as she's assistant professor for high energy physics and Noita, living in Stockholm, Sweden. She says about herself, I'm a physicist. More, more exactly, I'm a theoretical physicist. People often wonder what a theoretical physicist does. I think they live in fairyland. You, you might not believe it, but most of the time I think. Daydream, I reckon. Sometimes I scribble funny looking things with a pencil on a notebook. Processes like this usually involve lots of coffee and walking up and down the car or I think that's work. <sighs> Theory me. So that this is the woman, this is this is what her blog and this is what she thinks of that article. Let's go back to it. So she says, No, the large hydron collider will not make contact with parallel universities. Oh, that's a disappointment. So there's not even a possibility there, according to her. The most recent news about quantum gravity phenomenology going through the press is that the Large Hadron Collider, upon restart at high energies, will make contact with parallel unis, universities. Excuse me, with parallel, uni, parallel universities. She's, she's shouting it now. <laughs> the Telegraph even wants you... To, that's, the, that's the newspaper, Telegraph even wants you to believe that this would disprove the Big Bang. And tomorrow maybe it will cause uh, global warming, cure Alzheimer, uh, Alzheimer and lead to the production of butterflies at the Large Hydrogen Collider. Who knows? So she's being sarcastic there. She's, she's being... cause global warning, cure Alzheimer. This making the article we refer to back here. Go to here. This one. Big Bang. Big Bang theory could be debunked by Large Hadron Collider. It's all just fairyland stuff. It's all made up nonsense, according to her. So, if we go back to her. No, the Large Hadron Collider will not make contact with parallel universities. So, this is her point of view. And she says, this story is so obviously nonsense that I thought it would be unnecessary to comment on this, but I have underestimated the willingness of news outlets to promote shallow science and also the willingness of authors to feed that fire. So she's saying the whole thing is nonsense. Just nonsense. Well, my point of view in my articles and my videos, I say, yeah, Einstein's nonsense. Where are we? Here we go. Nonsense. Magic. 
in my, this one here I'm pointing out saying Einstein is talking nonsense is a valid conclusion you, you look at what he's saying and you say well it's just nonsense but the mainstream physics people they've just built upon it and what, what do they get? they get when we go back what do they get? they get now their stupid articles we go back to this article they come up now they go so far into fairyland they come up with articles like this and a proper physicist is even saying it's nonsense it's, they've all just gone to fairyland that's how bad it is Einstein has sent them all to fi fairyland this is what the lady here is saying like lady scientist uh, this story is so obviously nonsense that I thought it would be unnecessary to comment on this. So I thought it was unnecessary to comment that Einstein is just talking nonsense. But a lot of people believe it. But I have underestimated the willingness of news outlets to promote shallow science. Well, they did it with Einstein. They promoted nonsense then. They're just carrying on. And also the willingness of authors to feed that fire. So, nonsense. More than a hundred years of nonsense, all with art from Einstein. Right, and she's pointing out where the story is based. The story is based on that paper, the absence of black holes at Large Hydron Collider due to gravity's rainbow. It's by these people, and I don't want to go into details about that. If you want, you're really interested about that theory, you can look look it up yourself. Yeah. So this is what she says about the conclusion. Having said all that, if you want to read the rest of the article, the conclusion that they come to, that rainbow gravity, that's their theory, may lead to black hole remnants and make it more difficult to produce black holes is probably right. But it's nothing new. The reason is that these types of models lead to generalised uncertainty principle. And all these calculations have been done before in this context. As the authors nicely point out, I wrote a paper already in 2004 saying that black hole production at the Large Hydrogen Collider should, should be suppressed if one takes into account that the Planck length acts as a minimal length. And she carries on. Yes, in my youth I worked on black hole production at the Large Hadron Collider. She means really doing the theory of it probably. I gracefully got out of this when it became obvious there wouldn't be black holes at the Large Hadron Collider sometime in 2005 and in my paper I should add doesn't work with rainbow gravity but with a Lorentz invariant high energy deformation that only that only becomes relevant in the collision region and thus does not affect the propagation of free particles. In other words in contrast to the model that the, th the authors use, my model is not already ruled out by astrophysical constraints. The relevant aspects of the argument, however, are quite similar. Thus, the similar conclusions. If you take into account Planck length effects, it becomes more difficult to squeeze matter together to form a black hole because the additional space time distortion acts against your efforts. This leads you to invest more energy than you thought to get particles close enough to collapse and form a horizon. There you go on down. So that's what her theorising is. Her point of view is, is more just waffle based upon her theorising, but from her theorising she doesn't agree with what these uh, people like Miss Mir Fazel are theorising. So she carries on. What does any of this do with power have, have what does any of this have to do with parallel universes? Nothing really, except one of the authors, Mir Frazel, told some journalists there is a connection. In the Fizz Doc Hall piece one can read Normally when people think of the multiverse, they think of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, where every possibility is actualized. Fazel told uh, 
physics.org. This cannot be tested, so it is philosophy. It is philosophy and not science. This is not what we mean by parallel universes. What we mean is real universes in extra dimensions. As gravity can flow out of our universe into the extra dimensions, such a model can be tested by the detection of many black holes at the Large Hadron Collider. We have calculated the energy at which we expect to detect these many black holes in gravity's rainbow Ravishing rainbow a new theory. If we do detect many black holes at this energy, then we will know that both gravity's rainbow and extra dimensions are correct. Right, and here are comments on it. To begin with, rainbow gravity is neither new nor a theory, but that addition seems to be the journalist's fault. For what the parallel universes are are concerned to get to these extra dimensions you would need to have additional brains next to our own one and there is nothing like this in the paper what what this has to do with the multiverse I don't know something she don't know herself <laughs> that's an entirely different story maybe this quote was taken out of context so he then gets to the relevant question why does the media hype this nonsense? Three reasons I could think of. First, the next large hydron collider startup is near and they're looking for a hook to get the story across. Black holes and parallel universes sound good regardless of whether this is anything to do with reality. It's fairyland. Second, the paper shamelessly overstates the relevance of the investigation, makes claims that are manifestly wrong and fails to point out the miserable state that the framework they use is in. Third, the author's willingness willingly feed the hype in the press. So, she does say more, but that's basically the conclusion. It's hype. Hype. They've got, go back to the thing. Go back and they just talk, it's trying to justify spending all this money on the large hard drive collider to talk all their waffle.